We've researched the major miracles that faith healers perform, and now I want to show Nathan what I believe lies behind them. Today, you are going to witness the miraculous. The blind will see, and the deaf will hear, limbs will grow out. These are faith healing miracles, and I'm going to show you how to perform them. Just take these hearing aids out. You foul spirit of deafness, take your hands off this woman in Jesus' name. How do I sound now? <laughs> loud. <laughs> loud. Here is a popular miracle of making the deaf hear. hear. I'm going to demonstrate this and some other miracles exactly as they might be presented at a faith healing event like the one you can see here. And now you can hear? Yes. The people you see being healed at these events are selected by the faith healers team, the catchers, who bring them up on stage to present them to the healer. Darren, this lady's been deaf since birth. All of our volunteers have genuine registered disabilities. I've merely asked them to respond completely honestly and imagine they were at a real event with an audience. You can lip read? Okay. This woman has been deaf since she was born. She doesn't know what it is to hear. So you can, you can read my lips. So I'm going to turn away and say a word. 27. Nope, she can't hear. She needs to lip read to hear what I'm saying. Let's heal these ears. She hasn't heard a word for 39 years. Without lip reading, she doesn't know what I'm saying to her. Heal this woman. Restore her hearing. I hate those devils of deafness. I hate those devils of deafness, and I cast them out now. I command this hearing to be restored. To be restored now. <sighs> How many clicks? Three. Say, Jesus. Jesus. She's no longer lip reading. A miracle seems to have happened. But before I explain this, let's see another one, this time with someone who's registered blind. Darren, this is Ian. Mm -hmm. He's been blind since birth. Been blind since birth. And how old are you now, Ian? Uh, 46. This man is 46. He has been blind since birth. This man has never been able to see. He doesn't know what it's even like to be able to see. Take a step forward for me. Let's start praying. <sighs> Father, I command those devils of blindness to come out of this man. I command in Jesus' name those devils of blindness to leave this man in Jesus' holy name. Spirit, fall upon this man. Heal this man. Bring him back up. Bring him back up. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Father, open this man's eyes. Ian, how many fingers am I holding up? Tell me how many fingers. Two. He sees. Lord be praised, this man sees. Ian, I've got a handkerchief. Take the handkerchief from me. Take it from me. Follow me around. Come on, follow me around. Somebody praise the Lord. This man can see his sight is restored. These are the miracles. Who believes in miracles? He's been healed from blindness. But let's go back to Sophie and find out a little more. Have I just really healed you of deafness? No. You are moderately deaf, but you're essentially hearing impaired. Hmm. Yes. You can't really hear if I, without your hearing aid, if I face the other way. Mm, but all not. the clicks and everything, you can hear anyway. Yes. Yeah. And you're not healed because, well, nothing's, nothing has changed. In a similar way, although Ian has genuinely been blind since birth, like most registered blind people, he has some impaired vision. And with the right lighting, he can see blurred shapes and colours, enough to see the number of fingers I was holding against my dark jacket. Tell me how many fingers. Two. Enough to see my bright handkerchief. And, of course, his hearing helps him follow me round the room. Follow me round. Come on, follow me round. Both of these major miracles are created by allowing the audience to be misled about the extent of someone's real condition, then presenting things they can already do as evidence of change, when actually they're just the same as they were before. In Jesus' name, left leg, I command you grow. You can witness another popular miracle that faith healers often claim by typing street faith healer leg into YouTube. Uno, dos, this impressive demonstration has been performed and filmed in a guerrilla style all over the world. I'm going to show you how this works with my co-writer, Ian Sharkey, who genuinely has arthritis and back problems. It started in my hips, it's now moved into kind of top of my spine, my back, hands. There's always something somewhere that's, that's yeah. kind of constantly in pain, you just, you know, you know. Okay. Classically, what spinal arthritis will do is it'll shrink, as the muscles shrink, it'll shrink one of your legs back, which I think in your case it looks like it's 
Looks like he's on this side. Can I bring your legs out? Excuse me. Nathan, do you want to come and have a look at this? Um, oh, yeah, that's a good couple of inches shorter. Can you see, Nathan, this leg here has shrunk a couple of inches. Can you see the difference between, if you look at the heels? So what we're going to do is we're going to heal the arthritis in your spine. Father, cast out that devil of arthritis and grow this leg. It's grow. I can feel I can feel that in my hand. I can feel this start to grow. It's like the foot is growing. Look, you can see, you can see it's coming down to the length of the other foot. Now you can feel that. Can you see this? Can you see that? That is, it's filling out. The calf is extending. The feet are now even. Those legs are now the same length. And you can feel that subside, yes? Yeah. Pain gone? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Now, stand up for me. Can you stand up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> run around, run around. Let me see, let me see. Just, just... Easy. How's your spine feeling at the moment? Uh, fine, fine. Genuinely? Yeah. Yeah, you're not making this up. The spine no, 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 is fine. No, 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 your no, leg... No. You saw that happen, didn't you? You saw that leg extending. You saw it, yes? This is all based on something that I put a lot of emphasis on this foot here, but as is what will be pretty obvious to <laughs> most people at home, as uh, whenever you see them do this on YouTube, there's always a point, they bring the legs up, then they ask for the camera to come in, and all that's happening at that point is they just loosen one shoe. Not the shoe we're all looking at, but the other shoe. All the trick is going to be is, while we're talking about this, this leg lengthening, I'm just moving this shoe just sliding it back on the back on the heel. It's a very old, classic faith healer trick. But there's all sorts of other things I can make it sound like. Like, I know this is going to hurt your hamstrings doing mm. this for a while, so I can say to you, you can feel this pain, can't you? So why don't we do this? And I say, and that pain's gone, isn't it? I lower your legs. You honestly will say yeah, yes. Yeah. But you're talking about this hamstring pain because of this. It's nothing to do with your spinal Abs pain. Absolutely. Likewise, when you stand up, you're not limping. There's no limping. Well, you weren't limping before. Mm. No one said you. you didn't say you were limping. No, no. You touch your toes. Jump around, you could do those things anyway. Absolutely. We said earlier on you're in pain all the mm -hmm. time, but it's not in your spine, it's all over the place. But I can say to you at the end of that, and your spine is, how's your spine feeling? It's fine. It's fine, yeah. because it wasn't hurting anyway. Yeah. It is the leg lengthening trick that is absolutely the mark of a charlatan.